Hello and welcome to another episode of Homefront brought to you by AIG Media Pro TV, where we talk about issues bordering on home, marriages, behaviors, upbringing, and all. As we all know, when our homes are in good shape, the country at large will be in good shape. So today we are looking at a very emotional topic, something that is now rampant in our society. We are looking at eliminating suicidal thoughts. And we have a very dynamic woman in the studio today. She is the founder of Suicide Prevention Initiative, which was founded last year. She's passionate about helping victims. So join me as I welcome Miss Elizabeth Anna. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Thank you very much. So we've, we've, I've gone through your work. I've seen you have so much passion about helping victims. But not until recently, when it's now happening often in Nigeria, people find it hard to believe that some people actually have the thoughts of taking their own lives. And there has been a lot of questions out there. So as an expert in the industry, as, um, as someone that helps people, that has um, done a whole lot of work on the ground, helping victims, yeah. at what point can someone say, or oh, at what point... Is someone conscious of having suicide thoughts? Well, um, first of all, suicide is not really new in Nigeria. We just started having more coverage on, uh, rather, we just started hearing more about it. Okay. Thanks to social media. Social media has kind of brought it to the forefront. Um, as to when somebody would actually, what, uh, at what point people actually get suicidal thoughts, well, it doesn't just come. It comes gradually. It comes through something called uh, a process of suicide ideation. Okay. It comes... Uh, we have... The suicide ide ideation is in two ways. It could be passive. It could be active. Passive suicide ide ideation is uh, it's when someone is saying, I wish I could just die now. I mean, I wish I could just cease to be. You know, I wish I wasn't alive. Those are passive suicide ideation but with active they have intent they are planning oh i'm going to do this i'm going to do that oh how am i going to do this you know they have a plan they are, they mean what they are saying they're not just wishing these ones are really like intent on just ending it all okay now we can't separate when when a lot of people hear suicide yeah or let's say suicide thoughts mm -hmm. we can't separate it from depression well, um, the reason why it's kind of hard to separate them is because they sort of go hand in hand, not all the time. Not everybody who is depressed wants to die. You know, um, depression can be very debilitating. Okay. I, I was depressed for a couple of years in my teenage years, and um, I don't really remember in the initial stage thinking of dying. Uh, my thinking of dying... Um, like I told you, it's 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 um it's a gradual process, okay. right? So for me, I began to think of dying only when I thought about the fact. Oh, I by the way, I lost my dad um, a week after my thirteenth birthday. So as a uh, as a first child, I just felt like, what's what am I living for? Just an extra mouth for my mom to feed. What if I just die and you know? Just end the lesson, the burden for her. You know, I wanted to die out of love for my family. Like, okay, because I saw the way my mom was struggling, you know, and I just felt like, okay, let me just die and get out of the way. So, um, for me, it wasn't really just the depression. Okay. Uh, it was out of love and concern for my mother. Now, for some people, they get depressed but don't really think of suicide. And then for some people, they get depressed so much. Remember that suicide um, is it's an individual like deciding that, look, there's no other way out. No other way. As in, it, it's, it comes as a result of hopelessness. Okay. And uh, when you get to that point, that's when you begin to really seriously consider Okay, suicide. we need to go on a quick break now. So viewers, uh, yeah. we are still in a conversation with Miss Elizabeth Annam. She is the founder of Suicide Prevention Initiative. And you're watching this on AIG Media Pro TV. I'm Adeyinka Igbenoba. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back and this is Homefront on AIG Media Pro TV and we're having an intriguing discussion with someone that is so passionate about eliminating suicidal thoughts. So Miss Elizabeth, you know we've talked about depression, we've talked about suicidal thoughts. Putting everything together when either you are depressed or you're having these thoughts, who is the best person to talk to when these thoughts start coming in? Okay. Um... You know, for most people who consider suicide, they're usually too ashamed to discuss it with just anybody. So if you're listening to me right now, I would advise you to think about somebody you love and trust. Somebody that you know will not judge you. I'm here if you need to talk anyway. But it would be better if you had somebody, you know, within you sometimes, you know, that you could talk to, that you trust, that you know is not going to mock you. I would understand normally it's usually your friend now now that is where the problem is because most of the people when they have it, when they have this thought is born out of shame yeah. out of i'm going through this problem who do i talk to and because there's nobody to trust mm -hmm. but now that brings us to the question that okay what is the government doing about this or for example your own initiative how does it work Okay, um, first of all, as to what the government is doing about it, at the, at the moment, I'm not even sure. Because before I started Suicide Prevention Initiative, I, I just thought about it. What if I want to kill myself now? Who do I reach Talk out to? to? Okay. So I went on Google and I found a number. I found some numbers. Number one, numbers, they don't ring. It was 10 instead of 11. Wow. Yeah. You know, and then there was an email address, so I sent a mail telling them that look, oh, I'm about to do it now, now, now. I didn't have an intention of dying, but you just wanted to know if the system works. If it works, and and that was as a result of I wanted to uh, post something on social media about suicide, so suicide prevention. Uh, it was suicide prevention day, I think, and um, when I go when I checked on Instagram for suicide, it was among the banned. Um, words that you can't use on Instagram. If you must use it, they will tell you this is dangerous, but you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, when they, when I went ahead, they told me if you need help, reach out to so, so, so. They knew I was in Nigeria, so they gave me a Nigerian link and everything. That link doesn't work. I don't think it's a government owned thing. And if it is, that's really sad. Now, for those. So, but what they can do yeah. are many. But as to what they're doing right now, I don't know anything the government is doing right now. But I'm working behind the scene to get the government to partner with me in some way or the other, okay. you know, so that we could, you know, kick out this menace. I mean, it cannot be. It's wrong for suicide to be grabbing headlines. I mean, sure. it's not a, not a good thing. Okay, so let's take, for instance, viewers yeah. watching and um, they need help. Yeah. How do they get across to... Suicide Prevention Initiative. Okay, so I'm on Instagram, Suicide Prevention Initiative Nigeria, and I'm also I can also be reached through Gmail, um, Suicide Prevention Initi Initiative ng, ng at gmail dot com. I could also be reached via a mobile phone. Okay. Zero eight zero three three six five zero nine eight seven. So naturally, normally what they do is most of the people who I talk to right now reach out to me through social media okay and they reach out to me they tell me oh excuse me please there's this thing this thing is and then they just go straight to the point okay while some people come online they just want to know who is behind it and then if you're a girl they start like i like you and all that it's crazy this is nigeria so we've come to the end of the program thank you yeah. so much miss elizabeth annam for coming thank and you and for viewers out there this is a call to everyone that whatever the situation is, yeah. suicide is not the only way out. No. Suicide is not an option. Life is beautiful. And for some of you having that thought, Miss Elizabeth is here to help you out of whatever situation you find yourself. So you're watching Homefront on AIG Media Pro. I am Adeyinka Ibnoba. Please join us next time for another wonderful edition. Thank you.